Uh, I'll start kind of general. Give me a sense of, of what type of player the Packers are getting in Kamal Martin. Uh, very athletic, uh, very versatile. He's played different spots over his career. He's been uh, out of the box. He moved into the box this year to play inside at the Mike Backer spot, Will linebacker spot for us. Um, and so he, he just he brings athleticism to the table. Where do you think he best fits? First of all, I, you mentioned a number of spots he played there, but where did he best fit for you scheme-wise, and where do you think he might project scheme-wise as an NFL player? Well, I, I, for us, <clears throat> we had moved him inside this year, and I think it was his best spot because we felt like he took the athleticism that he had and provided out on the perimeter. But when he came inside, he was just really a natural at playing in the box and keying and diagnosing run plays and fitting gaps. And so when you have a guy who can do that and read at that level but also have that athleticism, it uh, makes him pretty special in that. I know there were some questions about his speed just because he didn't get a chance to run the 40 at the Combine or, or a Pro Day, but what does he have in terms of speed? Do you have a number on him, and, and how does he play in terms of his, his speed and his, his ability to run? Yeah, I, he runs really well. Um, he is a guy that, you know, we've had him matched up on running backs and tight ends over the years, and he's always done well. And to be honest, he's, he's won most of those when he's been in those situations. He's got really good ball skills. Um, you know, if, you, if you're projecting him as an inside backer, he's got above average speed for an inside backer. Coverage-wise, you kind of alluded to it there, running backs, tight ends, no issues covering at the college level. As a matter of fact, from what you said, it sounds like he did very well covering at the college level. Yeah, I, he's got really good ball skills. He was a high school quarterback. He's used to having the ball in his hands. He breaks on routes well. He's got length. He's 6'3 plus. He's got long arms, um, so that length helps him versus the taller tight ends. But, you know, in the, in the, for the tight ends that we've had him matched up against, we've always felt like he, he's done very well. High school quarterback, can you kind of see that in the way that he plays? No, to be honest with you, because <laughs> once I pulled up his high school film, and uh, I would assume that he wouldn't have been a good thrower, <laughs> but he can throw the ball, and he's got a really good arm. It was one of those, like, oh, yeah, you know, you're a high school quarterback, but he actually had scholarship offers as a high school quarterback, right. but he could throw it. Uh, I think where you see the carryover is just in his athleticism. You know, that, you know, there's not a ton that translates from quarterback to inside backer, except for the athleticism and then also the intelligence. Uh, he's he's a very intelligent player. He learns very well. And that would be probably where you could see kind of some similarities as well. From when you got on campus, from the way I understand it, he was still kind of learning the linebacker position. Where did you see him learn and grow and improve the most as a linebacker from the time you got there to the time he graduated? I think just having understanding of, of, of defensive scheme, uh, where to fit, uh, you know, when you talk about stopping the run, it's about fitting in the right spot, you know, whether it's a gap or fitting in the right spot on a blocker. Um, and as he became more experienced, that's something that he really excelled at. How much did he play through that knee injury last year? And what do you think that says about his toughness as a player? Yeah, I, I would say that he was only truly healthy a hundred percent for like four of the games. Um, you know, there's some games that he played in where he was probably about 80%. And I think it demonstrates two things. Number one, it speaks to his toughness uh, because he was able to kind of play through it, which, you know, playing in the NFL, that's, that's a reality. Um, and then the other thing is his care level for his teammates, um, how invested he was in our football program at Minnesota and how invested he was in his teammates because uh, it would have been maybe easy to say, hey, you know what, I'm good. I'm going to sit this one out. You see it all the time across the country. But it it, it, it was something where he, there was no question he was going to be out there if he could. Do you have a favorite Kamal Martin memory or a moment that stands out to you that in 10, 15 years you'll think back and say, oh, that was, that was real special? You know, the, the thing I always think about with him uh, in practice, you know, we would always watch film. And uh, when we would watch film, we would go through plays that we were going to see during the practice. And uh, he, he was very, he was very smart. And he had very good recall. So we go out on the field and I always see him cheating the plays because he knew what was going to come. And I'd get mad at him all the time. And I'd say, Hey, just play the play, you know, don't, don't, don't cheat. But part of me always loved that because you got to have some intelligence and some recall uh, to be able to go out there and do that. 
Great. Well, uh, that's all I had for you. If there's anything else you'd like to add about Kamal before we go. I just think that he's a great human being and he'll be awesome. He'll be a lead in the community. Uh, he's, he's always been a guy that, you know, has gone out of his way with young kids. You know, he's my, my two boys love them uh, because he just had a huge heart. So I think he's a, a great addition just to the community as well as the football team. Great. Sounds like he'll be a great fit here then. No doubt. All right, cool. Thanks, Joe. I really appreciate you spending some time with me. No problem. Take care. Yeah, you too. All the best.